What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a GIF in Sony Vegas and Photoshop. Just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so getting straight into it, I'm only making a GIF out of this. Now, it's already in a GIF as you can see, this is Vicstar123, just doing his little spatula thing, however, I've made my own. So if we come here, I've made it in Sony Vegas, you'll see right here, I've got Rotoshaw's head, and what Vic is going to be doing is slapping it about, so if we play this... So that is what I've made, this is my own GIF I've made, and yeah, so, what we need to do once you've made your GIF or have your GIF in Sony Vegas, you want to make sure there's no audio to it, go ahead, double click so you get these render bars up here, make sure this is on best and full, now come to file, render as, then you want to come to video for windows, which is AVI, then you want to scroll down, TC, HD, 720, 60p, UV. come to customize template, and now you want to go ahead and change the frame rate to a low frame rate. So I'm going to change it to 12,500 because it is a GIF. And then from there what you want to do is come to audio and uncheck include audio. And now come to project and make sure the rendering quality is on best. Go ahead and click OK. And then choose where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it uh, Vic. Slap him with like that. And I'm just going to click save. So that actually went into my folder, so I'm going to change, call it something else. So for this, I'm just going to call it Vic uh, Slaps. And then save it. And then click render. It's going to be a quick render because it is a GIF. And it is done. Now click close out of this. And we can close out Sony Vegas. It is no longer needed. Now you need to go ahead and head over to Photoshop. So once Photoshop has opened, what you want to do is come to Window. And then you want to come here and click Timeline. What this does, it brings up this at the bottom. Now, next, you need to go to File, Import, and Import Video Frames to Layers. Okay, so now what you want to do is find the video we just converted. So, this is what I named right here, Vic Slaps. And I'm going to go ahead, double click it, and now it's going to import into this right here. Now, this should come up, and what you want to do is make sure from beginning to end is checked. Make sure limit is unchecked, and make sure this is checked right here. Make Frame Animation, and then make sure these two are right in the end. So, make sure this is on the end like this make sure this is on the end up here then just go ahead and click OK and now it should open up like this so you can see right here we've got each frame like that and mine actually uses 53 frames as you'll see right there so you can come here and click play and it'll just show you what it's going to look like and it's going to repeat as you'll see like a proper gif and now I'm just going to stop the animation from there you are basically done what you need to do is come to file and then we go ahead and go to save for web and you can see the shortcut for that is alt shift control s and now we just go ahead and sort this out right here so let it preview or let it load up now you can see it's going to be zoomed in all you need to do is click the minus button to zoom it out and now we can have the this appear as gif you can change your colors to 128 which will shorten the file size remember it's a three megabyte maximum on twitter so I'm going to change it to three, uh, the short one right there to make it a smaller file size, so 128. We can uncheck transparency. Now I'm going to change the width to 720 by 405 or 720 by 512, as you'll see like that. And now you want to make sure the looping options is on forever. And then just let this bar do its thing. Now go ahead and just test this out by pressing the play button right here. And you can see that is what you get as a final product just go ahead and stop it put it from the beginning click save now we'll call this wts gets slapped by vic go ahead and click save now you can close out of photoshop and you'll see here it is right here virtual gets slapped by vic go ahead and double click it and there is the gif complete and that is on 128 colors i think not 256 so that is the final product for that now as you'll see right here the gif is actually too big for twitter you can see it's eight megabytes the maximum on twitter is three megabytes so if it is too big you can come to this website right here you go ahead and choose your gif go ahead and upload it like this so there's my gif eight megabytes go ahead and click upload now you'll see this website only takes a maximum of 12 megabytes so be aware of that 
Now, what you need to do from here is just lower it down. So, I'm going to choose this to about 400 by 200. Go ahead and click resize it. And this is what I've got right here. So now I'll click File, Save As, and you'll see it changed to 1.59 megabytes, which is now able to go on Twitter. So I'm going to put Roadshaw slapped uh, by Vic again. Save as a GIF image. Go ahead and click Save. And it is done. Now, I'm going to tweet this to Vicstar and Roadshaw. Hopefully you get a retweet. And let's see, I'm going to click Add Photo right there. And this is it right here, you can see. Go ahead and open it. It's in place. I'm going to go ahead and tweet it. And you'll see, it is now done. At Vicstar, I bet you want to do this to Roadshaw. If we go ahead and play this. There we go. It is that simple to do. Maybe I should have added a watermark just to put myself some credit in there. But anyway, that is how you make a GIF and upload it to Twitter. So yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated with what I'm going to be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my game channel where I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to have a Snapchat or to see what I do throughout my day. See, so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.